Yuta versus Valira. Watch your Your soul shall be mine. All right, a rogue. These are not Defiles or Galaka Crawlers. I am displeased. I greet you. Incredible. Galaka me. Galaka me. Galaka me. We're gonna tap. Any Galakas? No Galakas. Alright, this turn. I think we need to tap again. Our hand is pretty bad. We can tap and play Mistress. We can also just like play Earth and Ring. I think tap Mistress is better. Side effects. Trust me. Yeah, Galaka waiting room. Seriously. Come on, go Laka. Hey, I'd take it to file. Nat, John Nat, thanks for the sub. Whoa, no, I actually would prefer a defile. Nat, John Nat, thanks for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, defile. Get out of here. Don't talk to me or my Mistress of Mixtures ever again. We also like it. Go Lakari Felhound. We do. I'm a fan. I will be your death. In death, I my oh, I love it. The thing about Lillian Voss against Warlock is Warlock spells suck. Though they could include Sacrificial Pact. It actually means all my opponent's spells are now Warlock spells, right? Yeah. So, like, Sack Pact. Do I just want to Doom Guard this? I think I want to Doom Guard this. Oh, I lost another Doom Guard. That sucks. Can you get the quest? You can't get quests from effects that create random cards from outside the game. You can get like quests from like a uh, Glimmer Root. And I just lost my my Mortal Coil. It's gonna like drain so yeah, drain so that. All right. So my opponent had two two random Warlock cards. Oh, actually, it would have been, yeah, they could, those could have been spells. I mean, I, there's really no way to know. Basically, a coin and a, a petal are the only things that I know transformed. We'll tap. I really want to fell out with this hand with no imp. Like, I'm not, like, really under pressure to have to fell out here. So I think I'm just going to you know, play stuff out and tap. We can try and find us an imp. A Tyrion Lannister. Need something. Oh, oh dear. I should have expected that. These Warlock cards now are much better. <laughs> that was one we kept. Just drew it. Does Lily of Oz also make spells cost less? No, but Ethereal Peddler does. So my opponent could like have like you know twisting another doom at this point. Towards another next turn, we do ooh, zero cost clutch mill there. Incredible. With double silverware, maybe I do just want to Felhound right now, but it could just easily get siphoned. Or if we discard one of these, we're good. Yeah. We discarded neither. Okay. Well, we can we can soul fire and guarantee we discard one of them. So we're gonna soul fire this or this. I think I'm just gonna soul fire this. So we need one more discard to turn the quest online. Now we have a Librarian and a Fellhound and Howl Fiends as our only discard cards left. So we don't have that many. So I sulfire this so we can't just, like, if I sulfire this, it's like, okay, well, I kill a 2 2. This at least will die to either one of my guys. How would I rate Lillian Voss? I think it's a, Lillian Voss is just like a fun card. I've played Lillian Voss in a few decks. It's, if you have a, a way to generate, um, uh, Hellfires? A way to generate spells at low cost, stuff like Razor Petal Asher, it is Hellfire. Okay. Yes, I. Alright. Ooh. 
Please no siphon soul. Hopefully you at least have to attack in the game of six. Yeah, she cannot be uh, hit by Sacrificial Pact if my opponent has a Sac Pact. I think my opponent would have Sac Pacted my 3-8, though, if he had one. Well, I mean, Doom? He could have Doomed already. Vile Spell. Arcane Jump! Okay. Oh, this is really good for me. I just could Siphon that and connect with Blood Queen. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll tap. I'm gonna kill this. Makes it so my guy can be backstabbed too. Oh yeah. What happens if the queen is sapped? She returns to your hand. The the ability isn't a battle cry or anything, it's just a static effect that keeps checking. So if I discard more cards, Blood Queen will get more powerful as the, as that game goes on. My opponent coined because he needed to reduce the cost of Arcane Giant. His Arcane Giant cost nine, he had eight mana. So by coining, he made it cost eight, and thus it looked like he wasted the coin, but we really need to find one more card to discard. Alright. Feeding time. Okay, I can defy all those. Alright. We're gonna do it. So, there is a, a chance, with the second tick of defile, that my Halfiend discards my quest. Y'all ready for this? Other than that, I'm playing quests right afterwards. I'm playing Halfiend, defile, alright? Boom! We discarded Silver for the first one. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, we discarded Silver for the second one. Thank God. Online. Easy game. Easy game. I haven't done either of my imps. I like. I've actually not got nearly as far through my deck as I usually am at this point in the game because I haven't drawn either imp to sort of cycle through as I'm discarding. Yeah, that was a 33% chance to, to miss, because the first one, you can't miss, obviously, then there's three cards left, so one in three, I discard the quest there. But now my quest is online, and it's very good. Got like a Doom. Draw five. What's happening? Backstab, okay. Twisting nothing, nice. Why are you backstabbing first? Oh, you're playing another Van Cleef or something? Oh, Arcane Giant, okay, to get the discount on. Got it. I was like, what? Why is this happening? So I'm at 16. I don't think I tap. If I tap, my opponent has, has me killed in two turns with this. I can Earth Unring myself, and then I get my, my guys. We're gonna draw off tap. The only card I can draw from tap, like, life tap like that matters in the short term is Fellhound. Because if I tap, I go to 14. I heal myself uh, up to uh, 17. That's two hits from Giant plus a Dagger. So I'm just gonna earth and ring myself and say go. Because if he does kill one of my guys, I don't just want to be dead in like a turn. And most of the cards left in my deck actually don't do much. Like I have double imp, which are irrelevant. Clutch Mother, Librarian, Galaka, Fellhound, and Gul'dan are the only cards in my deck that do anything at this point. Like in this, oh dear. In this situation at least. Or are you just playing him as a guy? This is a really scary decision. My opponent has not, like, eviscerated or anything. Oh my god, this is... He didn't play any spell this turn. I get to kill this. Maybe I should actually be attacking this. I don't know. If I leave this up, the only thing that matters is, like... I don't know, maybe, maybe this is actually just bad because I just die in a turn to the knife. Incredible. Yeah, that was actually probably bad. But if I leave the Auctioneer up, like, any spells are just... He's just going off with. Like, vanish or something? DOOM! <laughs> he actually did get a Doom! I was joking about my opponent getting a Doom! <laughs> Lillian Voss Doom. Well played. Whoa, I actually haven't played against a priest in a while. I'm gonna keep Clutch Mother. Yes, Clutch Mother Halfine. The sickness. Legendary. 
blessings to you. Oh yeah. Bring it. Bring it. The Wild Pyromancer, Howl Fiend, I invite you to make me discard all my cards. No attacks? You didn't, you didn't want to attack? Alright, well. One, two. There's Clutch Mother number one. Not number two. My opponent was just like in awe of my Halfing that he decided he didn't want to bother trying to attack me. He knew it would go poorly for him. He was just scared, didn't want to piss me off. Kazakus. This is the matchup where Elise is way more important than Lanathel. So I'm gonna play Elise right now. This jungle hides. I think I'm clearing his guys. Uh, Miss Clutch Mother, unlucky. He can dragon fire me now, but this isn't really like a tempo matchup in the you know the long run. Shouldn't it be going more face? Not really. It's this isn't that's not really like what this matchup is about. Getting the damage in on them in many cases isn't that valuable until you're actually you know, pressuring significantly, and like if, if my opponent, for instance, like kills my guys and starts pressuring me, that's much more significant. My life total is much more important than my opponent's because my opponent is the one who's playing a deck that basically burns me out. You have made an unlocked Neladar. I could just soul fire right now at the face and get this back, but I don't think that's worth it. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Job done. I don't want like, to like, draw another discard card and run the risk of, of not getting it. If I draw like a card that doesn't discard, then it's better to like have the flexibility of saving this, uh, the soul fire. But if I draw another discard card, I want to be able to guarantee hit the, uh, the Clutch Mother. The Clutch Clutch Mother. Like this one, for instance. Um, so my opponent can can Andwin next turn. So I think we don't play our Clutch Mother here. I think we play the Doom Guard. He has coins, so we can Andwin next turn. So we play this. We tap. Oh my. Okay. Uh, I think we're actually... I have 12, 17... Yeah, we're just gonna face. So he's gonna and win, then we get to Nether Nether Portal and Clutch Mother next turn. Yep. So forever two threes and an eight eight for two. And Michael Dan, I mean, there are these, so I do have to worry about him just like you know giving me infinite imps with with Gul'dan, But I was gonna be okay. Hey, we can That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna tap. So, uh, this is going to bring back... Yeah, when, when they're shooting imps, they're just... They're, they're in a really bad spot. So, if we bring back Doomguard with Gul'dan, we win. Ah, there it is.
Ta-da! The beauty of Quest Warlock when it works.